You may have noticed that there is a big difference between the American long-nosed trucks and the cab over that drive in Europe. But how big a difference is there between them on parameters such as weight, cab design, cab measurements, wheelbase, aerodynamics, safety, and fuel economy? Well, let's dive into it. Cab Design The first and most notable difference are on the cab's design. The cabs of the American trucks have the engine in front of the truck and therefore have a long nose or also called conventional cabs. Where the European trucks are cab overs, where the engine is under the truck's cabin. There are of course also cab overs in America, but most Class 8 trucks are long nosed. The reason they are so different in design is due to the different rules the countries have. In America, there are no rules for how long the wheelbase on the tractor must be, so they can make them as long as they want, as the limit for length only applies to the trailer. In Europe, there is a maximum total length of the truck including trailer, so the shorter your truck is, the more goods you can bring. In addition, cab overs are more maneuverable for the many smaller and hilly roads in Europe. When you have to drive around Europe, there is also a high probability that you will have to take a ferry, where the shorter cab overs take considerably less space. Also, the speed limit is quite different, but more on that later. Cab Measurements To make it as comparable as possible, we have chosen to compare the European Volvo FH16 with the biggest cab Globetrotter XXL with Volvo's American model VNL860. When we look at extern height, the Volvo FH is somewhat higher. It is because the engine is under the cabin, which makes the truck taller as there must be room for the engine. The European models are also a little bit wider. But the American cabs are much longer, with a cab length of around 197 inches, where the European version's cab is only around 86 inches in total length. This gives the driver a lot more living space, why the American trucks have wardrobes, resting space, and so on. The wheelbase on the American trucks are also much longer with a standard wheelbase on the Volvo VNL 860 at 222 inches, where the Volvo FH is only 133.5 inches. When we look inside the cabin, the standing height is higher on the VNL sleeper with an internal standing height of between 81.4 and 102 inches as the cab is higher in the back. The total gross weight of the VNL is around 17,600 pounds, where the FH is around 16,000 pounds, so also a big difference here. Safety All truck brands test their cabs and must undergo several crash tests to be approved for use, and there is a high level of safety and number of airbags in almost all truck brands. However, there are no public numbers from these tests, so that you can compare the different brands with each other and we therefore cannot say with certainty that the conventional cabs are safer than cab overs. However, cab overs can't possibly be quite as safe as a truck with a long hood in the front. At least a conventional has some sort of a crumple zone between the driver and whatever else is coming at the truck. In a cab over, there is nothing between you and what you hit other than the windshield. While car safety features have vastly improved since the 1990s, standards for semi-truck underride guards have not changed much. However, many truck brands are equipped with safety systems like adaptive cruise control, active lane assist, emergency brake assist, lane change support, and so on. All to keep the driver and the other road users safe and to prevent accidents. Fuel and Aerodynamics Fuel consumption and aerodynamics go hand in hand, but are hard to compare as things like weight rules, driving style, speed limits, weather, landscape, and how good the driver is have a big influence on fuel consumption. Two in-depth tests were made by both the American truck Peterbilt with a Cummins ISX-15 engine with 450 horsepower, as well as the European truck brand MAN with their 480 horsepower engine. Let's see how they performed. The first test was on a 312-mile route between Denton and Vernon in Texas, with a gross weight of 65,000 pounds running 64 miles per hour. It managed to drive 10.7 miles per gallon on the route, which is equal to 4.55 kilometers per liter, under real-world driving conditions. The other test was performed by a MAN TGX with 480 horsepower on a 212-mile route between Nuremberg and Munich in Germany. 
with an average speed of 50 miles per hour and with a total weight of 83,700 pounds. Here, the MAN managed to drive 11.06 miles per gallon, which is equal to 4.7 kilometers per liter. It's not easy to compare the American trucks with the European trucks as they are limited to 56 miles per hour and have other weight limits as well as other engines. But most truck brands claim that drivers are able to achieve around 9 miles per gallon or 3.85 kilometers per liter. Again, of course, depending on conditions like weather, weight, engine, latitude, and the driver. When we look at aerodynamics, all brands also claim to have the best in test aerodynamics, but no official numbers on how they perform are available, so we really can't compare them. But the fact that American trucks are able to maintain such a nice fuel consumption at such a high speed, we must assume that this type has better aerodynamics and that the air can more easily pass the long nose rather than the large square surface a cab over has. Inside the cab Next, we have the inside of the cabins where there is also a big difference between the American trucks and the European ones. When looking at design, it's often a matter of preference. Some think one thing is looking good and some like something else. However, it cannot be argued that the interior of the European trucks is somewhat more modern to look at than the American ones. That does not mean they are better, but they are significantly more modern, don't you agree? There are, of course, also American trucks with an up-to-date interior with the same functions as the European ones, but it is again about preferences and demand. Both European and American truck cabs can be selected with things like microwave, fridge, skylight window, table, TV, and bunks. But there is simply more space in the large American cabs, where you can also choose things like a wardrobe, a sitting area with a table, side window, and in some, even a toilet. This was all about the differences between the American cabs and the European cabs. Which is your favorite and why? Comment on the video and share it with us. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for much more.